we are here for a late night discussion with the players from Oblique Gaming and Dard Gaming both finalists of this uh, tournament and of course we've got members from MYB as well so a big mix of players and yes we do have a spawn gaming player as well i apologize uh, let's start by each of them introducing themselves hi my name is meeksha i play uh, in team myb i play carry for team myb that's it my name is ranak sen i play for bleak gaming role mid solo nickname crowley i'm abhira chitnes play for dad gaming uh, role is support and nickname is hunter Hi, I'm Atul Singh. Uh, my nickname is Rimstar. Uh, I'm from team uh, Wotsec, that is Dard Gaming, and I play the first carry, uh, first role, that is uh, carry. I'm Darshan Bata, also known as 835, and I play the offline role for Dard Gaming. Hi, I'm Asif Khan. I play for Dard Gaming. I mostly play mid solo. Hi, I'm Hardik Dafterdar. I play for Oblique Gaming and I play as support. Nickname तो बोल देता. Hey guys, I'm from Spawn Gaming and I'm Raj. My nickname is Zero Times Span. All right, again. Now, first question is going to go out to uh, Honto. He's debatably been the star of this tournament, possibly the most uh, prominent support player in this tournament as well. uh what's it like playing on land this is one of the few land events that you've actually attended i believe playing the support role was quite challenging and interesting also uh against tryn f and obli gaming also so it was fun to play with them and that's it <laughs> do you feel any kind of pressure when you're playing these matches because it looks like you've just been as Cool as a cucumber, right from the last uh, black holes we saw on KS Virus's Warlock in the previous free to play tournament, and here um, some real shenanigans that you managed to pull off right through and through. You've been, like I said, on top of your game. You perform consistently through and through. Do you do you feel nervous when playing against a team like Oblique Gaming? No, I've no, I've played with them before, so obviously I don't feel any pressure, and the games are just as easy as any other games. All right. Uh, next one is for Meek Shah. Uh, we saw you playing hard carry role in most of your games. You played for Team MYB, the first team that actually gave uh, Oblique Gaming some sort of competition in this tournament. Uh, why do you think you guys didn't take that second game? Actually, first, firstly, only we got to know that Oblique Gaming got disqualified. So our match was actually in finals, but we met in semi-finals. So that was bad. So we tried our best to defeat them, but it was a it was a sad game. Again. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, generic answers there. Now, another team that actually showed uh, some of OG's vulnerabilities was Dard Gaming, and I think Atul is going to give us a little more uh, enlightenment on that. I've I know I've overdone this, but uh, he is the old man of Indian Dota 2, and as Kamikaze called him, he is the master shifu of Indian Dota. How do you feel, you know, playing against young guns like Ronak now? And how do you how do you feel about that game where you guys almost came out ahead? Well, uh, I'm pretty happy with the result that we got for this tournament because uh, coming we just made this uh, team like four five days before, just practice like three four games uh, before this tournament. That too without Sky Panel, and coming the tournament we lost pretty bad, uh, badly uh, first game against MYB, and then we came back strong against Spawn, and then we played a best of five. We we knew that we are playing a best of five against OG. That was like pretty unbeatable uh, in the past tournaments, and I don't think so. They have lost a LAN event in the past few months also. So yeah, it was uh, pretty challenging, and uh, beating them two games uh, gave us a lot of morale for the future tournament. So maybe we'll come back strong next time. Okay, I like the sound of that. There is going to be a next time for Dard Gaming. Uh, are you going to see any roster shuffles, or is this going to be your standard lineup going forward? Uh, as far as I think, I guess four players are gonna stick together. I don't know, uh, but yeah, uh, me, Darshan, and maybe no chance are gonna stick together. Um, uh, Hunter and uh, Asif, I don't know about them, 
so let's see uh, they'll make their plans and uh, i want this team to play together because i think if we practice for more two three months uh, maybe we'll we can be the best because everyone everyone's uh, solo skills are very high as we saw no chance and even haunter and even darshan so two three months of practice and even we'll be a top contender for all the titles all right next one is for asif uh, i saw you and no chance switching your roles up quite a bit you played uh, the support every now and then and he played uh, mid solo every now and then as well what happened i saw right at the end that it was primarily you going towards the mid lane and him going towards the support role actually it was all about heroes he he is good at invoker so i we prefer him to go mid at invoker and i just switched my role to support <laughs> Okay, and what are you more confident playing? Are you are you okay with playing the support role, or did you practice the support role before that before this tournament or anything? I never practiced the support role, but I am really confident playing support role. It's it's fun playing support. All right. Uh, next one is for another Dark Gaming member, uh, Darshan, more commonly known as. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, more commonly known as Bocha. Now tell us why you're called a Bocha. <laughs> Actually, it's a long story. So cut it short. Cut it short. Let's skip it. It's better. <laughs> okay, what's the okay. reason behind A35? A35 was in. <laughs> That's the English name for Bocha. A as in ass. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, I'm pretty much gonna skip you for the rest of this now. If you do feel like telling us that story, we'll come back to you. I'm gonna go to Hardik now. <coughs> um, you played as a stand-in for Blink Gaming. You've been around for a really long time. You've played against uh, most of India's best teams at once upon a time best teams as well, and you played for DMC if I'm not wrong. Um, a team that Remsta. Called legendary as he when he was co-casting with me. Tell me, what's it like playing the support role once again, and how does it feel playing with Oblique Gaming? Actually, the thing with Oblique Gaming is uh, they they are the players from Votech. Like me, Akrid and Rishabh have been playing together for a very long time. So I I, I felt very comfortable playing with them, and Bachai is somebody that I play like regularly online with. So I was very confident, and I'm very comfortable playing micro heroes. So it was very easy for me. Okay, I noticed Ronak making some faces there. Ronak, uh, care to explain how your experience has been with uh, Hardik? Pretty much what he said. Like I've been playing with Dick. Like we play. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I've been playing with him every day, like every night online ranked matches. He plays bad sometimes, has great black holes sometimes, but he did really play well, and he was a last moment stand-in for us. And we as a team only played for three, three or four ranked games as practice for this tournament, so it went really well. So playing with Hardik was a really nice experience. <laughs> Okay, I want to ask you another question now. You said you guys practice very little, but you guys have been playing more than any other team on the Indian circuit now. Tell me, do you think that your close shave today was because uh, you guys have dropped in terms of skill level, or is it because that gaming is actually well? Players around uh, you guys have started improving quite a bit and learning your playstyle. Well, they did say that they only practice three or four games. Now I have to say that's a lie. They have practiced three or four days non-stop every day, every hour. So, and actually we didn't practice that much. So that's why we played bad in this tournament, I'd say. And the hardware Remstar is doing is another version of hardware. <laughs> well played. Okay. <clears throat>
game okay also uh, i'm going to come back to spawn gaming's player for this uh, next one in a little bit but uh, i had a discussion with spawn gaming earlier on and they called uh, a lot of the players from mumbai and pune stalkers because you guys uh, get on to dota tv watch what they're playing and ban out heroes like uh, the death prophet i believe it was myb that banned out death prophet against them in the second phase and without any warning spawn gaming was caught completely off guard have you guys been stalking them really Oh, okay. That was Dart Gaming. Yeah. Okay, if you could pass the mic. Uh, well, the only reason uh, we banned out Death Prophet was not because we stalked someone. Uh, actually, we played against Spawn Gaming in ACG, and we took Death Prophet and we beat them. Uh, also, the first game we played against uh, MYB, they took uh, they took uh, Death Prophet, and we were like completely out outplayed by the Death Prophet. So, uh, Haunter especially is very scared of Death Prophet. <laughs> uh, maybe yeah, in the Bangalore tournament also they took Death Prophet and beat INF. So maybe he thought INF will take. Uh, that prophet and try to beat us that is why that's the only reason we try to ban out breath prophet and uh, again we just practiced exactly six games that is without skype anything exact six games all right now uh, both both of you guys say you'll have practiced less i know for a fact that spawn gaming uh, they did not practice much at all but uh, there are a few players that consistently know the scene if i may say so and watch a lot of replays in fact uh, excarnation went so far as to purchase a star ladder ticket and even uh, uh, get some of his teammates to sit and watch replays how what was it like this i believe is your first experience playing with inf is it second okay it's your second experience playing with inf okay can, can you tell us what it's like playing with them well the first experience was in at dsk with hunter and that was pretty amazing but the second experience that is now uh frankly it was absolutely shit like really i really expected a lot from them because as you mentioned earlier they had practiced like crazy lot so being uh, as though i was standing at the last moment i really expected a lot from them because definitely they did practice a lot and they had a lot of issues in game so yeah not a good experience all right again another question directed towards you so clearly it looks like you're not going to be playing with spawn gaming further and uh, i believe you were a part of team silent divine earlier on what are the plans with psd and do you guys plan to actually go pro and competitive uh definitely we would love to go to uh, go competitive but then again it depends on my rest of the roster if they really want to dedicate themselves then definitely yeah, we would All right, uh, Darshan, you're a fairly new player on the land circuit. I believe this this is this is your second or third land tournament in totality. Okay, it's your third tournament. What is your perspective on the Indian Dota 2 scene? How do you see it growing? Do you see it as you know maybe two years down the line a viable career option for the best players in the country? I think esports is really growing really fast in India. So in a few years, it might be one of the best. It might. I, the players might be able. yeah the players might be able to make careers in esports okay uh next one again for crowley you've had a lot of insight into uh, spawn gaming and their fights and you've been a very major reason for some of the uh, skirmishes between excarnation and khurshid uh <laughs> can you tell me what drives you to uh, what what motivates you to spur this kind of aggression from them it's really fun how hyderabadi fight amongst each other like mama tum kaisa karta rahe ho so i'm really in love with that accent and <laughs> and yeah that's about it i think Okay um if anyone else has anything else they want to add here feel free I'm pretty much done with my questions uh, again before we wrap up shout outs as well I'm just going to pass the mic around if you all have shout outs feel free to throw them in No shout out actually Shout out to Bocha his phone Remstar Dick and Oblique Gaming Shout out to Extreme Gaming for an amazing Rockstar <laughs> DVD set. 
then shout out to AFK AFK Gaming for an amazing cast and shout out to Naughty for an amazing Rubik. Uh, shout out to uh, AFK Gaming uh, for the good cast at the event. Uh, shout out to uh, Addicted Boys uh, back there in the cafe and shout out to Oblique Gaming and uh, Spawn Gaming, uh, MYB and my team and a special shout out to No, no Chance. He came all the way from uh, Kolkata and he really showed that he has so much talent in him and I guess people will uh, recognize this guy really has good talent. Shout out to No Chance for being silent throughout the event. Shout out to Indian LOH AK Hunter. Uh, shout out to Shungal Monk and uh, Sammy Bulldog. <laughs> Uh, shout out to the entire gaming community. Mm, yeah, that's about it. I guess. All right, thanks a lot, guys. This has been uh, a discussion, not exactly an interview with players from across the Indian scene. Hope you guys have had a good time. We'll try and bring you more content from uh, IESL 2014.